hyperbolic functions, just as we computed inverse uh, trig functions. Um, the, uh, the hyperbolic sine is actually a one-to-one -one function, so we don't need to do any restriction, uh, restricted domains for that. Uh, it, it's a, a y is a function of x. If, if y equal um, cinch x, uh, y is a function of x because it passes the vertical line test, and x is also a function of y because it passes the horizontal line test. Um, so um, we can write down a formula uh, for the um, for the inverse, um, and um, so if uh, if uh, y is equal to uh, cinch inverse x, um, that means that cinch y is equal to x, uh, and that means that um, uh, e to the y minus e to the minus y over 2 is equal to x. And then we can multiply both sides by 2. That will give us e to the y minus e to the minus y is equal to 2x. Um, and then we can multiply everything by, by um, uh, e to the y. Multiply each term by e to the y. We'll get um, e to the y squared uh, minus 1 is equal to 2x e to the y. Um, we can bring the uh, subtract 2x e to the y from both sides and add 1 to both sides. That'll give us uh, e to the y squared minus uh, 2x e to the y is equal to 1. And then uh, we can make this into a perfect square. Uh, take half of the coefficient of e to the y, half of uh, 2x is, is x, and then square it. Um, that get x squared. Um, and add that to both sides of the equal sign. So it's going to be um, uh, e to the y squared minus 2x e to the y uh, plus x squared equals um, x squared plus 1. Okay, and then uh, this is a, a perfect square. We can factor this into um, uh, e to the y uh, minus uh, x times e. Uh, e to the y minus x equals x squared plus 1. Um, and um, <coughs> so then that um, that'll give us, we can write it uh, more compactly as uh, um, I'll have e, e to the y uh, minus x quantity squared uh, is equal to x squared plus 1. Um, and, okay, and then we take the square root um, and um, so that will give us uh, e to the y minus x is uh, plus or minus the square root x squared plus 1. Uh, and then add x to both sides get e to the y is equal to x plus or minus square root x squared plus 1. Um, now, x squared plus, square root of x squared plus 1 is always going to be bigger than x. Um, so, um, if we subtract, we could get a negative number, but e to the y, as long as we're working with real numbers, uh, either about 2.7. 2.7 to any power is going to be positive. Um, so, um, we want the positive square root here. That means that e to the y is equal to x plus square root x squared plus 1. And then uh, take the natural log of both sides. Um, ln e to the y is equal to ln x plus square root of x squared plus 1. Um, ln and e cancel, you have y equals ln x plus square root of x squared plus 1. So, um, so that means that f inverse of x um, uh, is ln x plus square root of x squared plus 1. Or um, actually, just present in terms of since, since inverse. Uh, is ln x plus square root x squared plus 1. Okay, so that's uh, the formula for the, um, for the cinch inverse. Um, and um, we could make a similar argument for, um, uh, for the other um, functions. Uh, I guess I'll do the, the um, uh, I'll do the, um, uh, I won't do all of these, but um, the 
cache inverse. Um, for cache inverse, um, we have to restrict the domain. Um, and um, so uh, the, the cache uh, function uh, uh, as it stands is not invertible. So um, it, p it fails the, the horizontal line test. So if you, there's a certain places where you draw a horizontal line, it touches in two places. So we want to restrict the domain to, um, to x is uh, greater than or equal to 1. Um, and um, they'll be greater than or equal to zero, rather. Um, and um, so, um, um, and why? And why is it going to be greater than or equal to one? Um, so you, you notice on here, um, uh, y is greater than or equal to one, and uh, we want to restrict uh, um, x uh, greater than or equal to zero. Um, uh, to get an inverse, um, so when you when you when you um, uh, get the end for the inverse, the x and y switch, so the, the domain and range switch. So uh, when you get the inverse, you'll have x greater than or equal to one and y greater than or equal to zero. Um, so anyway, um, uh, so this. Um, uh, this this formula is going to apply when for x greater than or equal to one, um, uh, but uh, so let's, let's let, let y equal um, cosh inverse x. Uh, that means that cosh y is equal to x. Uh, it means that uh, e to the y plus e to the minus y over two is equal to x. Um, and multiply both sides by 2, you have e to the y plus e to the minus y is equal to 2x. Uh, and um, uh, you want to multiply everything by e to the, e to the y. I'll give you e to the y squared plus 1 is equal to 2x e to the y. And then we can subtract um, uh, 2x e to the y from both sides and also subtract uh, one from, from both sides. Um, uh, so we'll have um, uh, e to the y squared minus 2x e to the y equal to negative 1. Uh, and then um, uh, we're going to make this into a perfect square, add x squared to both sides like we did before. Um, so we'll have e to the y squared minus 2x e to the y plus uh, x squared equals uh, x squared minus 1. Uh, and then this becomes a perfect square, just as, as we did up here. Um, we'll have um, e to the y minus x quantity squared equals uh, x squared minus 1. Take the square roots. Uh, e to the y minus x is plus or minus square root of x squared minus 1, and um, add x to both sides, e to the y is x plus or minus square root x squared minus 1. Now, um, the, um, uh, x, uh, if x is positive, um, x will be a little bit bigger than square root of x squared minus 1, um, but, um, uh, it's only a little bit bigger, uh, so if, if we take the minus here, we're going to get a fraction, uh, and the only way you can get a fraction from uh, uh, with base 2.7 is uh, with a negative exponent. But y um, in the restricted domain, um, y has to be uh, bigger than uh, zero, so uh, we're not we don't want a negative exponent. So we want the positive square root here. So we'll have e to the y equals x plus. Uh, square root x squared minus 1. And then take the log of both sides, I get y equals ln uh, x plus square root x squared minus 1. And that's the, the formula for it. That's uh, cosh inverse of x. Um, cosh inverse of x is equal to uh, ln uh, x plus square root x squared minus 1. I'm running out of room there, but it's, it's equal to this here. Um, okay, so 
that's the proof for the for the cosh. Um, and, uh, I'll do one for that for that inverse tangent. Um, so um, tangent. Let's take a look at the graph. Um, Um, the yeah, tangent is uh, vertible, invertible, uh, but um, it's one to, a one to one function. We don't need to restrict the domain, but um, the, you notice the range of the tangent is minus one to one. So, um, uh, and when we uh, compute the inverse, the domain and range switch. So the domain of the inverse will be minus one to one, the range will be uh, minus infinity to infinity. Um, and um, Okay, so let's let um, so the domain. This is the this domain of of, of f in inverse. Um, so y is equal to uh, tangent inverse uh, ta tangent inverse of x. That means that tanch y is equal to x. Um, and um, so that means that um, e to the y minus e to the minus y over e to the y plus e to the minus y is equal to x. Um, and then uh, we can multiply uh, top and bottom by e to the y. So we'll have uh, e to y squared minus 1 over e to the y squared plus 1 is equal to x. And uh, multiply by the denominator here to get that out of the denominator. Um, we'll have e to the y squared minus 1 is equal to um, uh, x uh, times e to the y squared uh, plus uh, x. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, if we put the um, e to the y squared uh, terms together, uh, so we can subtract the, the e, e the y e x x e to the y squared from both sides and add one to both sides. Um, we're going to get um, uh, e to the y squared uh, plus uh, x e to the y squared is equal to um, one plus x. Um, uh, well, this is minus. This is minus here. Uh, we're subtracting it from both sides of the equal sign. Uh, so we factor out the e to the y squared. We'll have e to the y squared uh, times 1 minus x equal 1 plus x. Divide both sides by 1 minus x. We get uh, e to the y squared equals 1 plus x over 1 minus x. Um, and then um, uh, if you take this, uh, okay. So this is um, okay. So I guess we take take the log of uh, both sides at this point. Take the log of both sides. So we have the log of e to the y squared equals ln one plus x over one minus x. And um, the, uh, one of the rules for uh, taking the log of an exponential expression, the exponent can come out in front. So that means that 2 times ln of e to the y is equal to um, ln 1 plus x over 1 minus x. The, the log and the exponential base e are inverse functions to each other. Those will cancel. Um, so that's just uh, y. I have 2y equals uh, ln 1 plus x over 1 minus x. Um, and uh, I'm running out of room here, but um, um, if we'll get, um, if you divide by 2, you get y um, is equal to 1 half uh, ln 1 plus x over 1 minus x. And um, <coughs> So that means that the um, uh, tangent inverse x 
is equal to 1 half ln 1 plus x over 1 minus x. Okay, um, okay so that um, that's the derivation of that formula. And uh, I'm not going to go through the rest of these, but um, uh, you can, the, the other proofs are going to be similar. The Koth inverse of x, 1 half ln of x plus 1 over x minus 1. The, the Koth, um, um, well, here, here's the, the hyperbolic tangent here. Um, the, the Koth is, um, the, the range for the hyperbolic tangent is uh, minus 1 to 1, but the range for the Koth is going to be uh, uh, minus infinity to minus 1, union 1 to infinity. So it's everything but uh, the interval from minus 1 to 1, and that becomes the domain of the inverse. Um, so um, uh, let's see. Uh, but otherwise, it, the procedure is uh, basically the same. Um, for the set, you have to uh, restrict the domain. Uh, so the um, the inverse function of the um, set um, is a similar uh, procedure, but uh, we want to restrict it to the first quadrant. So uh, both both x and y will be positive in the first quadrant because it's not it's not one to one over the entire. Uh, um, original domain of the original function and um, then the, the, the uh, so the, that's the form of the, for the set the coach set ln of 1 over x plus square root of 1 plus 1 over x squared uh, okay so we can uh, apply these formulas uh, for uh, specific values specific inputs um, so the um, since inverse of 0, uh, just plugging, replacing x by 0 in the formula, it's ln of 0 plus uh, square root of 0 squared plus 1. So ln 1, which is 0. Uh, Cosh inverse of 0, not, it's not in the domain. Uh, uh, the domain for Cosh inverse is... Uh, um, Is uh, for, is for x greater than equal to one. Uh, the, the domain here is x greater than equal to one. Uh, uh, tangent inverse of zero. Uh, it's one half ln one plus zero over one minus zero. One half ln of one, and that's going to be zero. Um, and these these um, uh, are not in the domain. Not defined. Zero is not in the domain. Um, okay, so, um, and then we could, um, uh, do, um, evaluate these functions at 1, um, Sinch inverse of 1, ln 1 plus square root of 1 squared plus 1, ln of uh, 1 plus root 2. Um, cosh inverse of 1, um, ln 1 plus square root of 1 squared minus 1, ln 1 is 0. Um, these are not in the domain. Um, such uh, in, uh, such inverse of one, um, ln one plus square root of one minus one squared for one. That's ln one is zero. So such inverse of one, ln of one over one plus square root of one plus one over one squared. Ln of one plus root two. Um, okay, so um, uh, we could also compute, um, uh, put um, more complicated expressions in here, since inverse of uh, uh, 1 minus e squared over 2e. Uh, that's going to be a little complicated to do. Uh, let me see. put that on a second piece of paper here. Um, so the sense inverse of uh, 
it minus e squared over 2e um, is going to be um, ln 1 minus e squared over 2e plus square root 1 minus e squared over 2e squared plus 1. Uh, that's going to be ln 1 minus e squared over 2e. Let's get a common denominator here. Uh, 1 minus e squared squared over 2e squared plus 2e squared over 2e squared. Uh, and um, ln 1 minus e squared over 2e plus square root. We expand this here. Um, it's 1 minus 2e squared plus e to the fourth plus uh, 4e squared. Um, and then we have the same denominator. We have a common denominator there. It's uh, uh, 4e squared. Uh, so 4 minus 2 is 2. So this becomes um, um, ln 1 minus e squared over 2e plus square root. 1 plus 2e squared plus e to the fourth over 4e squared. Uh, and then this is a perfect square. We have ln 1 minus e squared over 2e plus uh, square root uh, uh, 1 plus uh, e squared squared over 4e squared. Um, and then if we take the square root, um, it's going to be the positive square root. The, the square root symbol means positive square root. Um, we'll get uh, 1 plus e squared over 2e. Uh, common denominator, uh, we have ln. 1 plus 1 is 2. E, minus e squared plus e squared is uh, cancels. 2 over 2e. Uh, the 2's cancel. ln 1 over e. Uh, express this as an exponent, ln e to the minus 1 power, uh, ln and e cancel, this is just equal to negative 1. Okay, so um, I'm going to stop there. I, I, in the, I'll, I'll put the, the rest of these exercises will be in, um, um, if you want more practice, they uh, uh, will be in the Canvas file, but uh, the procedure is pretty much the same for, uh, for these other uh, functions, but uh, well, I'm not going to go over them, uh, but it'll be similar to what I just did. Uh, and that concludes this presentation.